There can be nothing worse than feeling to blame for your team conceding in a World Cup semi-final. So what better time to score your first goal for the national side, and while you're at it, why not make it two? This is the story of how Lilian Turan became a national hero at the 1998 World Cup in France. Looking back at the big names in France's 1998 squad, one that boasted the likes of Zidane, Desailly, Blanc, Vieira, Petit and Henri, you'd be forgiven for thinking their World Cup triumph was inevitable. However, they'd been ranked 25th in the world prior to the tournament, and with 7-1 to one odds, little was expected of them outside of France. Despite being without a suspended Zidane early in the tournament, France progressed past Paraguay and Italy to reach a semi-final against the tournament's surprise package, Croatia. The Croats, led by top-scoring striker Davos Suke, had swept aside the Germans 3-0 in the previous round to set up a showdown with the host nation. After a hard-fought first half ended 0-0, the game sprung to life immediately in the second. France attempted to play a high line, but Turam found himself out of position, allowing Suker to be miles onside. As the Croats celebrated wildly, fingers were pointing in his direction. Feeling at fault, Turam set about atoning for his error. A minute later, France equalised and Turam was off the hook. But it's what happened next that sealed Turam's place in the history books. After rocketing the ball into the bottom corner, Turam dropped to his knees, his arms folded in contemplation as his team swarmed him. France held on for the win, and the rest is history. Turam is France's most capped player, but it is these goals in the semi-final that are his defining moments on the football field. Were it not for his perceived mistake driving him forward, this result may never have happened. Such was the manner of the victory in the final that all results that came before pale in comparison. France had so many heroes in the final. In the semi-final, they had Lilian Turin.